Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Caroco again and today I received a comment from one of our subscriber, Mr. CHRSDR. He commented, hi, can you do a full tutorial on Dialux 4.13 about street lighting with false color rendering and calculations? I managed to make the roads but I need to set the luminance U-O-U-I-N-T-I. Okay, Mr. CHRSDR, that is from the standard and you cannot set it. All you need to do is find the right road requirement and then from there you can set it. Okay, let me just show it to you rather than talking about it. So I'll go now and open my desktop and I will click now this dialogs 4.13, the regular dialogs, the red one. And I'll go and select the new street project so this is the default of dialux 4.13 so let's just see he said about the setting the u o u i n t i let's go and find this one first so right now the default from this dialux 4.13 if you click the street and you press this plus button here and click the roadway and then there's another plus button here and click the valuation field roadway it will gives you the classification grid and then from here you can select you whether you will have ME4A which is the default from the dialogs or you can go and select the ME5, ME2, ME1 if you want to know and find out what are these please go and visit my Udemy courses and i will teach about the basics of road lighting and from there you will find out what is the meaning of this me4 me5 okay now watch out for that course later on all right so let's go for now let's just imagine this is our road and i will just add for example two path walks so what i need to do is go and press the street and then here and here you can see on the top the general the maintenance and arrangement you can now have the option to add the sidewalk just press this one and another one if you want so when you click the sidewalk number two just press this button down down now you can see that the other sidewalk is now on the other side of the road and if you want to add for example a grass strip you can also do that so press the grass strip and then the grass strip if you want two sides and then click the grass strip number two and then press the arrow button again here one two three four and then it will be on the other side as well so for this uh, simple uh, presentation I will just select a luminaire from my selection here and I'll just say for example I will use this one I'll just just drag and drop and I will open this uh, light distribution and my height of the fitting if I want to change it I'll go to the project tab again here select the luminaire and then here at the arrangement I can say on the side only yes and then I will say for example um, 8 meters height and then the spacing of the fitting is say 20 meters I'll type it there and I will adjust the boom length, say 1 meter. And then I will adjust the pole distance from, okay, this, this, this pole is too high. I want to change it into, say, 6 meters only. Yes. And then I will change, uh, I will set the distance of this pole from the roadway, say, 1 meter only. There you go. And then let's go and calculate. Okay, for this calculation, I'm just going to use the default lighting standard. So let's go and see in the false color. It looks okay, but let's see in the output if it's achieving or not. So click on the output tab here and then click on the photometric results. Okay, so we did not achieve the candela per square meter, even the overall uniformity and SR. So you can see this one, uh, Mr. CHRSDR. Uh, this one, the UO, the requirement is 0.4, UI is 0.6, and TI is 15. That is from this class, road lighting class for ME4A. This is the requirement. 
and for example i change it into say i'll go to the project tab again select on the roadway and i'll change it into say me5 so it's not strict requirement or me6 and if i go to the output tab and let's see what will happen see everything now is checked just because i selected the not so strict lighting requirement for road this is me6 and you see the requirements for candela per square meter is only 0.3 the uniformity now becomes 0.35 before it's 0.4 ui is 0.4 becomes it before it's 0.7 and ti is the same so it means from here selecting the classification of road you can set the ui and ti and overall uniformity and again if i go and change into the more strict lighting road lighting requirements so i'll go to the project tab again select the valuation field and i'll go to for example me2 it's very strict one and then go to the output again and see what will be the result see i failed everything except the ui so there you go that is where you will get the uo ui and ti based on the classification okay so for the false color and calculation okay that's very easy i already showed you yeah just press this false color tab here and then you can uh, see your false color rendering and if you want to keep it this view for example so you go to the output add the 3d rendering here and also the false color rendering here keep it checked so it will be added in your report and if you double click that one then see this is the 3d rendering and if you click this one this is your false color rendering so if you want to make your uh, report more form formal just make it a little straight like this yep and then see how it goes how it looks there you go and the false color yes perfect so it's much better compared to the previous one and then yeah so that's it and if you want to add more uh for example if you want to add more uh features in your road for example you want to add um bicycle lane or uh, emergency lane just press it for example you want to add an emergency lane press it yes and then click that emergency lane and press that button until you reach where you want to place the emergency lane and then exit or press x if you want to delete it there you go oops i think i delete my road not the emergency lane <laughs> okay there you go so if you want to remove that one uh, select the emergency lane and then press x yeah there you go and that's it so if you want to learn more uh just go and check my um Udic udemy course about this road lighting just type type nel karoko and do, then you will see all my courses available in udemy and i'm going to have a dialax evo advanced this coming may 22 so if you want to actually it's evo not the regular dialogue so if you want to attend just go and log in to my website and then go to the shop and then select this eight days online training for dialogues evo advance okay so that's it and see you again on the next video bye